Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. What I want to share with you today is how to look and set up the Think or Swim platform when it comes to the price slices. So we're going to take a look at the Risk Analyze tab, a risk profile picture, and look at the price slices. So I'm going to break it down for you if you're missing those or how to set them up and split them up and use them accordingly. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about that in this video. All right, so one of the things regarding price slices is that they're really fantastic for seeing where your position lies and how much money you would make or lose at a certain point where the stock price is. Now you can do this when it's just the stock or if you're just dealing with options, like let's say you put on a calendar spread, butterfly spread. If you wanna go ahead and see what your um, profit or loss would be at a certain price point or a certain standard deviation move or a percentage move, these price slices can be very helpful and beneficial. So let's check this out. We're going to go ahead first and take a look at a standard stock position. So if we go ahead and look at, let's say we're going to go through uh, Lulu. I can pull it up here and I can go ahead and buy uh, some shares of stock here. And as we take a look at Lulu and we go in and buy some some shares. What I need to do is go ahead and put this on the analyze tab. So you'll probably start out your panel first off uh, something like this and it'll be you know your main monitor tab. So first you need to get into the analyze tab and where it's found is right here and then under risk profile picture. So if you check this out it's going to be under analyze and then under risk profile picture. So it's kind of like a secondary sub tab and in here now you have to put in trades but how do you do that? Well, you do that by going to the trade tab. So you have to be in this trade tab window first and then put in the trade, either the stock itself or some kind of option. So let's first start out with the stock. So I'll go ahead and right click buy and you can see this puts up a sample order here. Now to get this in the analyze tab, I'll right click and go to analyze trade. So here is my, my window right there. I wanna make sure I go to analyze the trade. So right click analyze the trade and it'll put it in right here into the analyze tab. Now you have one price slice typically already set up as a default and the price slice is right here. It's this dotted gold line that you can see. The little red hashtag is your break even, which is your zero line. Um, and then the white line is our stock price. And I can move my mouse up or down and that's where you can see your profit or your loss. In this case, this would be a loss of about $7,000. This case would be a, loss, uh, a profit of about $3,700. So moving your mouse allows you to do that. But if I move the price slice, you can see it doesn't really do much, but it does actually affect something. And what does it do? It really um, links up to this price slices area. And this is where you can open up this level or this little uh, bar. And that bar is right here with this arrow. If you open it up and you click it, it opens up a little field. And this is your price slice. So this is linked in to this. Okay, so how does this work? If I unlock it, it goes to the live price. So here we have uh, basically this slice connected to here and it is offset by zero, meaning no profit or loss or movement by, a, by one uh, point. Um, and then you have your delta, gamma, theta, vega. For a stock, you only have really a delta, uh, but then you also have your profit and loss. Here's your profit and loss total for that position, but then you also have profit and loss for the day, so that is for today. So that's the way that it works. Now, I could go ahead and move this, and now you can see my profit and loss actually changes, and that's the whole point behind these price slices, is I could set up different price slices at different points and see what my profit and loss would be at those levels. So for example, if I go ahead and let's say offset this, I could say, hey, let's say the stock moved up a dollar, how much would I make? Well, now it moves it up that price slice a dollar and you can see I'd make $700. Or I could go ahead and move it up $10 and now it moves that price slice and you can see your profit and loss in this case. So that's one way of doing it. Of course, you can always type in a different number. Like let's say I, if I think the stock will go up to uh, 300, uh, $350, well, I can type that in, hit enter. It's gonna move that price slice and there it is. I could type in $370, boom, it'll move that and there's your profit and loss. So you can just type in the number and you can see it locks that price in there for you because you typed it in or you offset it. 
If I unlock it, it goes back to zero because now that's the live price. Okay, here's some other cool things that you could do with this. So you could go ahead and offset this, you know, by one penny, two pennies, and so on. You could also do it by this dollar figure, up one dollar or down five dollars. If it went down five dollars, I'd have here a loss. But here's one other thing you might have not noticed, and that is uh, this little dollar sign. So if you're looking at the dollar sign, I could change this to a percent. So let's say it moved up 5% while moving up 5%, there's your profit and loss. So you could do it by percentage, 6% or 10% um, in the same way in the downward. Or you could change it to kind of a standard deviation, up one standard deviation or down a standard deviation. Uh, EPR, I'm not really sure what that is, but there's a few choices there that you could take a look at um, uh, uh, there. Now, if you want to add a slice, there's a little plus button right here, okay? And this price slice uh, will add an extra slice, an extra slice, and you can click this multiple times. You can see I can add a lot of slices. And now what I could do is start dragging these slices around or setting them up accordingly, however I want. And you can see it's changing that profit and loss um, as kind of needed. And now here I have all my different points and uh, you can see the different pr uh, profit and losses at those different price levels. Now this is a little more difficult and a little bit of a pain to really understand. So what people usually do, uh, they have some predefined values. So you can go ahead and click this hamburger menu or right here, this triple dot. You can go ahead and reorder slices by price. You can, and that way you could see it kind of ascending to descending. You can also go ahead and set slices right here. And there's a lot of choices here. Um, seven rows, eight rows, 11 rows, break even. So if you wanna set slices to break even, you can set slices to a standard deviation. You could go ahead and set slices, let's say like 11 rows and it can show you, boom, uh, a bunch of like 15% up and down, 12, nine, six, three, and zero. So you can see at all those points, which your profit and loss would be. Um, and uh, with options, it's no different. So if you wanna go ahead and let's say AutoZone, here I have a basic position on from the other day, and I have one slice here and I have two others at 10% up or down, you can see they're way outside the range. But if I wanna go ahead and let's say set slices to break even, and in this case, cause it's an option, we have expiration. So we can go ahead to expiration right there. And now what you'll see is you're missing the other slice for the live price because there's a little hash mark okay and what i can do is just go ahead and add an extra one make it zero and there's my three slices so that's kind of one way to do it you could also then reorder slices by price and now you've got kind of a price slice window i can also collapse it if i want to hide it move it up or down here there's an arrow and that's kind of the way that price slices work uh, that's really the power behind it there's so much in there that you could do with it depending on what you're looking at and um, what, what you're trying to see. If you wanna go ahead and set slices to break even on uh, the white line, you can do that as well. And then it just tells you the exact price of the stock where that white line right now would be at break, break even. So anyways, that's price slices for you. If you're interested in checking that out, that's the Think or Swim platform. Uh, feel free to check out some of the other great tutorials we have. Uh, go to tradersfly.com, uh, Option Trading 101, Getting Started Guide. There's a lot out there. There's also a bunch of freebies that we have that you could go ahead and download. Definitely grab some of those and uh, check out some coaching if you're interested in any one-on-one -on -one sessions uh, and even some in-depth courses and books that we have as well. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the link right under here. Grab some of the freebies by clicking the link here and uh, much more. All right, thanks again. And remember, do what you love, contribute to others, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you in the next episode.